All right, so this video is going to be extremely different, you know. Well, but yet also sort of the same. So you may have seen the Dell Opt uh, Dell Optiplex GX620 on my channel before. I'm sorry I don't have a tripod, but that's in the basement, and uh, it's snowing, and I don't feel like going outside into the snow and dealing with that. But uh, so. This system's been sitting here doing nothing. In fact, I've stripped the memory out of it, uh, a couple other things, and I'm about to put it back together. And uh, we all know that I like getting computers from the thrift store, but I'm throwing this together for the thrift store. Say what? Yeah. So here's what I'm doing. The uh, one thrift store where I get stuff, they have, for their own personal use system, a uh, Dell Optiplex GX620 that is still just the Pentium 4, and has like a gig of RAM, maybe? Well, at one point I had 4 gigs in here, and I was going to put it to 3, but it turns out I don't have a... Uh, I don't have a second one gig laying around. I thought I did. I might have one in the basement, but uh so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two gigs in it, two, four five twelves. I'm gonna put them in the matching slot so it'll run in dual channel. They should all be the same. Well, two different brands. 533 and 533. 300. Just want to make sure. Either way, it really doesn't matter that much. Yeah, they're all the, they're all the same speed. So what I'm doing is they're going to. I'm going to give them this one, which has a Pentium dual core, which I don't remember which one it's in. It. I want to say it's a three gigahertz or a three point four. I'm going to give them this. And then they're going to, I'm just donating it to them, and then they're going to give me the, their, their, their uh, GX620, which I'll probably just grab another, uh, grab another Pentium Dual Core for. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop the case, and we'll take a look at it. Now, because I don't have tripod, I'm not going to go through the whole detail of doing this but uh this one here you pretty much just yeah there we go and then there's the memory right there now this does have a laptop hard drive in it but for what there it's not going to move I know exactly where it's going to go into place it's just going to stay there and it'll be fine but uh so yeah I'm just going to go ahead and uh put the memory in and then this one here, I'm going to take my wireless card back out of this. And uh, yeah, so I'll take that back. And I'm actually going to put, where did I put it? Over here. I have no idea what this is, but it's going to take, uh, take some of the strain off of the two gigs of memory which will help it greatly because I can run that in this uh, PCIe channel since it doesn't have uh, external power and I gotta I'll clean this up a little bit as I go because I do have a cat so but uh, yeah this yeah so this should actually turn out pretty decent for them and I'll be back in a little bit Alright, so the memory's in, the external graphics card's in, is it? <laughs> yeah, this thing never sits right. Alright, so I'll have to play with that again. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to mess with this a little bit. But, uh, 
what I want to do now, before I go any further, is I'm going to put the cover back on and make sure that everything works together. This is an, this is an AMD card. I'm going to make sure it works and make sure everything... So on this is either Windows Vista or Windows 10, and I'm really thinking it's got Windows Vista on it. But, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a second to see how, how this works. I forgot that the case side is actually part of the structural rigidity of this. But, yeah, I'm about to, uh, about to put it down on the floor so you won't be able to see it while it's running. But, uh, yeah, it's just one second. Alright, so, uh, this is down here. I turned the camera light off so you'll be able to see the screen. Alright, here goes nothing. That's a good sign, right? Uh, what is F2? Yeah. System memory has changed. Ah, give me one second. I don't know what it is about these Dell computers. They do not like this particular Logitech keyboard. It's USB like it wants, but I have to keep using uh, my... Um, my Mac keyboard for this. So memory info. Excuse me. It is showing two gigs of 533, which is good, and it is the 3.4 gigahertz Pentium D. So let's see what we got. I mean, there's really nothing special about these computers. I mean, it is Vista. Oh good lord, I'm gonna to try to run Vista on on this. The heck is wrong with me? I might actually swap the video card from this one to this. I don't know yet. But uh Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna to have to grab my Windows 7 disk and hope that Windows 7 actually works on this, because I've been having problems with 7 lately. But yeah, this shows that it works. So, next time you see this, because I'm not going to record the whole doing the... Uh, so what's the word I'm looking for? Doing the whole... Uh, Windows install. And uh, so next time you see this, it should have Windows 7 on it. And uh, yeah, so I'll be back. So here we are several hours later, and you know, I'm not even 100% sure if this is a true dual core processor because it is the Pentium D. But I've got a lot of different things going on right now, like I've installed Microsoft Office, I've got, it's running the uh, performance index, which is pointless anyway, and it's checking for updates, and you know what, it, I mean, it's not great, but, <laughs> you know, it's not too bad right now. I mean, I imagine that once everything's done, I mean, well, before I started all this, I mean, it was pretty snappy, I mean, I wasn't trying to... They're, they're not going to do anything even half this difficult with it. My luck is I'll probably never even do uh, Windows updates. However, this is the first system in a while that has done a round of Windows updates and is not crashing on me. After, uh, you know, it's not going blue screen to death like others have. Um, hoping to... I don't know if I'm going to get it to them today. But, uh, I like the way that looks in the dark. I'm weird. Although it looks purple on my screen, so I don't know how that's going to look in, on, uh, the computer, but, yeah, this is, uh, this is still going on. I'll pro I'm hoping to, uh, get this done soon, but, uh. I'm going to hit pause, and then once I get the uh, index, I'll come back to you, and then 
I'll come back once I have more stuff done. This ain't too bad. I, I, it's a, definitely a step up from what it was uh, before I put the graphics card in, because I used to run it on just the uh, internal graphics on the board. But, um... Got a line on my screen. I don't know if that's from the camera. Hold on a second. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to look at this footage, see if that's on the uh, picture. But uh, yeah, 3.5 mainly because uh, of the desktop performance uh, for Windows Arrow. Now, I'm surprised this actually scored this low because honestly, when it's Running like you know, single threaded applications, this runs this processor is actually really fast, but uh, yeah, this I mean, this ain't too bad. I, I've definitely seen a lot worse of Windows 7. Um, so but the graphics definitely helps some, even though it's only a 128 meg uh, Radeon, whatever that's supposed to mean, but it does show two processor cores here so I don't know if that's because of hyper threading or what but uh yeah so I'm just gonna go throw this footage back in the uh, reel with what's already there and then once I have office installed I'm gonna try to deal with these windows updates and come back to it So, many hours later, as you can tell, there's daylight coming in that window. Excuse me, I'm back with the conclusion of this video. Um, the updates hadn't finished before I went out to the thrift stores. And when I mentioned doing, uh, or bringing this in to her, she says to me that she's not sure she needs it. And by her, I mean the manager of the thrift store. And, uh... After she was extremely ex excited to get it. Before, so... I don't know what changed. So... Uh... After some discussion, we... You know, I said... Well, if you really don't need it, I'll just keep it. So, that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it. I told her if they need one, let me know. I probably have something laying around. I know it's weird. I buy them from thrift stores, but for some reason, now I want to give one to them. Probably because I just want to give back to the community. I don't know. Who knows? But, uh, so I guess Windows is still loading for some reason. Oh. It was just checking for updates. One update, or one important update. Okay. So, system does run. And uh, it does run fairly well. Yeah, now that it's not thinking, it's actually running pretty well. I think it still needs more memory, though. Let's see. Yeah, we're we're hitting the upper end of the memory. It's only got two gigs, and with a uh, Chrome open. Yeah, I'm sitting here at one and a half gigs, so yeah, it's definitely going to need a need more memory. But yeah, so it runs. I gotta find. I know I have another couple gig sticks probably in the basement. So maybe tonight I'll go ahead and do that. And my cat is playing with something right here behind me. But that being said. Uh, can't really think of anything else, especially with it hitting the top end of the memory that I need to show on here. So we'll just shut it down. I'll say thank you for watching and have a blessed day.